live. Hi. Today's the first day of Namaste at home. <laughs> A gentle flow tonight. Um, oh, hello. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's get started. Hi guys. <laughs> Thank you for joining. Hi everyone. I hope you guys are doing okay and you're safe at home with everything you need. Um, is there any questions from anyone? Are you ready to get started? Hi, Nikki. Oh my God, I'm so excited to see everyone from everywhere. <laughs> um, well, let's get started. Today we're going to do a very gentle flow, tuning into our breath and yeah, easy going stretches. And yeah, let's get started. Let's start in a comfortable seated position, settling in. Maybe a gentle sway side to side or forward and back. Anything you want to do to settle in here. Maybe some gentle rotations from one side to another. Forward and back. And whenever you're ready, start to bring your attention into your inhales and exhales. Notice how in each inhale, your body gently lifts and expands. And in the exhale, settling a little bit more. Next inhale, lift your hands up high. Bring your palms together and your thumbs right in front of your heartbeat. Settling here. Big inhale through your nose. And long exhale at your mouth. Two more times. Big inhale. Long exhale. One more time. Big inhale. And long exhale. Settling here. Gently relaxing your arms. Leaning towards your right side. Big inhale to lift and open up. And in the exhale, settling here. Notice how each inhale gently lifts you up. And in the exhale, settling a little bit more. You want to lean towards the back. Nice shoulder stretch. See how that feels. And then coming all the way to the middle. Same on the other side. Leaning towards your left. Big inhale to lift and open. And in the exhale, settling in. Letting your inhales and exhales roll through you. Same thing on this side. If you want to lean your shoulder towards the back for a nice stretch, see how that feels. Coming all the way up to the middle, we'll twist towards the right. Big and hug to lengthen. And easy twist looking towards the back. Bring your hands behind you across the opposite knee. And drop your head and neck for an easy roll here. And rounding all the way up. Same on the other side. Twisting towards the left. Nice inhale to lengthen. And easy twist looking backwards. And then bring your back hand across the opposite knee. And drop your head and neck for another easy roll here. And slowly rounding all the way up. Walking your hands behind you, one step at a time, leaning towards the back, drop your head and neck if that feels good. If you want to st um, stretch your hips as well, lift it up high, see how that feels. And coming all the way down and crawling in front of you, one step at a time, relaxing your head and neck. Maybe a gentle sway side to side if you want to come all the way down to your elbows. Or stay right up here on your palms. See how that feels. Letting your inhales and exhales roll through. And slowly rounding all the way up. We'll meet on our hands and knees. No rush here. Finding a comfortable stance to settle in. Maybe leaning side to side. Forward and back. Make sure you can really roll around here. 
and easy. This is a really good spot to reset, roll around, and if you move slow enough, maybe you can notice if there's any part of you that wants some extra TLC, maybe, oh, towards one side feels good. We're still always going towards the front. Find something that works for you. Our body is constantly adapting throughout the day. Facing your fingertips towards your knees, maybe one hand at a time, or both if that feels comfortable. And simply leaning side to side, forward and back. This is a spot that we hold a lot of tension without knowing. Using our phones, connecting to Instagram. <laughs> um, so yeah, easy leaning, see how that feels. And then facing your fingertips to the front of the mat. Gentle cat cows from here, big and help. Tuck your chin, ground your back. And easy exhale, drop your belly, face your chin upward. Two more times, big inhale, and easy exhale. One more time, big inhale, and exhale, drop your belly, face your chin upwards. Tuck your toes, shift your hips up and back into a downward dog here, settling in, gentle bend in the elbows and knees, relaxing your head and neck. If you feel too much um, pressure on your wrists, you can crawl closer towards your neck, shortening your stance a little bit, and opening the back of your legs here, gentle bend on both knees. Next inhale, bring your heels all the way up to your tippy toes for one, and easy exhale, coming all the way down. One more time, big inhale up to your tippy toes, and easy exhale. We'll slowly crawl all the way up into a plank pose here, settling in, maybe side to side, forward and back. Side plank on your right, stacking your feet on each other, or bring your knee to the mat. And how to lift and open up. And knees, exhale, coming all the way to the middle, switching sides here. Big and how to lift and open. Easy exhale. Softening your elbows, coming all the way down to your belly. Interlace your fingertips here for a nice shoulder release, maybe a nice sway side to side. See how that feels. When you're ready, plant your palms towards the side, shift your hips up, all the way back into a child pose. Sitting on your heels if that feels good. You want to crawl a little bit forward. Any variation that's nice for you right now. And when you're ready, crawling all the way back on all fours. This time, leaning towards your left, slide your right foot toward the front of the mat, and then coming all the way to the middle, and settling here for a couple of deep, long breaths. Anything you wanna do, you wanna crawl onto the side, see how that feels. Come a little bit forward or down low on your elbows. Any variation that's useful for you right now. And simply let your inhales and exhales roll through. Maybe a gentle sway side to side. See what your hips need right now. And when you have enough of this one, straighten your arms, keeping your knee on the mat, tuck the back toes as you shift your hips for a runner stretch here, balancing through your hands, sitting all the way to your heels if that feels good. You can also try coming up to the middle and simply fold your torso over your thigh. And letting your inhales and exhales roll through. And crawling all the way out into a low lunge, tucking the back toes, lift your knee, leaning towards your left side, we'll twist and open to the right. Coming back to the middle, lift your hips and ground your back heel behind as you Fold your torso over, relaxing your head and neck, gentle bend on the knees here. Easy inhales and exhales. And 
and sinking back into a low lunge, bringing your back heel to your heel, uh, bringing your back heel to your toes. Sink your hips and crawl into the middle, high lunge. And easy exhale, coming all the way down, relaxing your knee on the mat, crawl into the open side to slide that foot back, and same on the other side, sliding your left foot towards the front of the mat, and settling here for a couple of deep, long breaths. So one side doesn't have to feel the same as the other side. That's totally normal. Anything you want to do here, up high, down low, letting your inhales and exhales flow through. straighten your arms, keeping your knee on the mat, tuck the back toes as you shift your hips towards the back for another runner stretch on this side. You want to sit on your hips, come a little bit high up in the middle, holding your torso close to your thigh, relaxing your head and neck as you let your inhales and exhales flow through. Let them do all the hard work. And crawling all the way out into a low lunge, tuck the back toes, lift the knee as you lean towards your right, and easy twist to the left. Good. Bring your hand back to the middle, lift your hips, ground your back heel as you fold forward for a single leg forward fold. Gentle bend on both knees, relaxing your head and neck. Find a way to be comfortable here, maybe adjusting your stance. Nice and easy, inhales and exhales. And then bring your back heel to your toes as you sink into a low lunge, crawling through the middle, high lunge, big inhale. And easy exhale, coming all the way down, leaning towards the side as you slide your front leg all the way towards the back, keeping your Hands on the mat, tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back into a downward dog. This time walking towards the front of your mat, one step at a time, moving your hips side to side, moving your hand and your foot along the way. And once you reach the top, fold over, gentle bend on both knees, maybe a nice switch side to side. If you want to grab a hold of your elbow, see how that feels. Or just let it drop over. Big inhale, come all the way to the middle. And easy exhale, folding forward. Two more times. Big inhale. And easy exhale. One more time. Big inhale. And easy exhale. Gentle bend on the knees as we round all the way up to standing. No rush here, opening your back notch by notch. And whenever you reach the top, Big and up, pull your hands up high. And easy exhale. Two more times. Rounding up to standing at your own pace. No rush here. See how that feels. And whenever you reach the top, big and help to open up. And easy exhale, folding forward. One more time here. Nice and easy. Maybe a gentle sway. And whenever you reach the top, big and help float your hands up high. This time we're going to fold over and interlace your fingertips behind you. Relax your head and neck for another shoulder release. You can drop it all the way if that feels good. If you just simply want to rest it on your back, see how that feels. And releasing your fingertips, crawling a little bit in front of you, putting some weight into your hands as you sink into a squat pose. So any kind of squat that feels good for you, maybe leaning side to side, forward and back. Find a way to be comfortable here for a couple of breaths. Always adjust and adapt. Sometimes if your shins are too tight, you might lean forward a little bit. Put some weight on your hand if that feels good. Make this work for you. And a couple of options. You can do twists. You can simply crawl forward, relax your head and neck. And you can also bring your palms together and your elbows and thigh and knees. Big inhale back. And 
And when you're ready to get out of this one, we'll slowly crawl all the way back onto all fours here. Settling in, nice and easy, rolling around, anything that feels good for you. And we're gonna do a shoulder release, spreading your right hand under your left one, coming all the way down to the mat. See how that feels. You wanna press your shoulder towards the mat a little bit more looking outwards, that might feel nice or not. Just notice. Coming all the way to the middle, same on the other side. Threading your left hand under the right one. Coming all the way down to the mat if that feels good. And let your inhales and exhales flow through. to the middle. We're going to walk a couple of steps in front of us with your hands. Sink your hips for an up dog here. Maybe a gentle sway side to side. If that's too much for a lower back, you can come towards the middle or even lower. See how that feels. And settling here for a couple of deep, long breaths. Draw your shoulder blades together, big inhale. And easy exhale, slowly coming all the way down, going through the middle and all the way to the bottom. Interlace your fingertips behind you, big inhale. And easy exhale. Plant your palms, shift your hips up and back into your heels, sitting on your heels if that feels good. We're gonna do some back stretches. Big inhale to float both hands up high. And easy exhale, drop your left hand behind you. Maybe catch a hold of it with your right. If that doesn't feel good, you can grab a hold of your shirt. We're gonna let it rest to the side. Big inhale to point your elbow towards the top. And easy exhale. gentle rotations. See how that feels. Coming all the way to the middle, switching sides. Big and help float both legs up high. And easy exhale, dropping your right hand. Maybe hooking it with your left if that feels good. Any other variation. And letting your inhales and exhales flow through. Pointing your elbows towards the top. See how that feels. Maybe draw another circle in front of you, gentle rotation. And coming all the way towards the middle on all fours. Settling in. And we'll gently slide our right knee towards the front as we sink our hips into a pigeon pose. So any version of pigeon that feels good, if you land on your hip, that's comfortable, that's great. If you want to roll a little bit towards the top, anything that feels comfortable for you, there's no good. All right, and settling here. Whenever you're ready, big and help to open up. And easy exhale, crawling towards the mat. Settling here for a couple of deep, long breaths. Focusing on your inhales and exhales. Imagine each inhale filling you up like a big balloon. And the exhale, softening a little bit more. If this feels good and you want to stay here for a couple of extra breaths, go ahead. If you want to explore around, maybe crawling towards the top to one side, coming to the other side. Just notice how it feels, play around. You want to bend the back knee, catch a hold of your foot, and lean towards the front. That might feel nice or it might be too much. Ease out of it if it's too much. We're here to explore and connect to what feels good. Getting a nice stretch. That's the point of it all. And when you're ready, gently releasing your foot. 
start leaning towards the right. Slide your leg all the way to the front. Catch a hold of your big toes, your foot, whatever is more comfortable for you. Gentle bend on the knee. Maybe bring it out to the side. If you want to go for a twist, bring your opposite hand to the outside of your foot and an easy twist towards the left. Coming all the way to the middle, hugging your shin close to you. You can bring it inside your elbow. If that's too much, you can grab a hold of it with your hand. Nice and easy. Give it a nice hug as you slide your right leg all the way in front of you. And place your foot outside your knee. We're going to twist towards the left, hooking your elbow with the knee. Big inhale to lengthen. And easy twist, looking back. And counter twist on the other side. Coming all the way to the middle. You can bring your foot on top of your thigh if that feels good. If you want to put it to the side, that's also great. Gentle bend on the knees as you fold forward. Relaxing your head and neck. Bring your torso close to your thigh. You want to grab a hold of your shins or your toes, your foot. See how that feels. And letting your inhales and exhales flow through. And slowly letting go, rounding all the way up. And we'll retrace our steps until we meet on all four here. Getting into a comfortable stance and rolling around. And when you're ready, slide your left knee all the way towards the front. Bring it, bring your foot across, and maybe drop to your hips here for a pigeon on this side. Any version of pigeon that feels good, settling in. And again, one side might feel different than the other side. That's completely normal. Whenever you're ready, big and how to open up. And easy exhale, folding forward. And bring your attention to your inhales and exhales. Big inhale, just throw your arm like a big balloon. And easy exhale all the way coming back down. So stay here for a couple of breaths if that feels good. If you want to explore on this side as well, maybe crawling to one side or to the other side. Any spots you want to linger in, listen to your body, notice how that feels. If you want to bend the back knee, catch a hold of your foot on this side. See how that feels. Maybe leaning towards the front. Ready to ease out of it, slowly releasing your foot, leaning towards your left as you slide your right leg all the way towards the front, catching a hold of your big toes, your foot, whatever is more comfortable here. An easy stretch. I'm going to bring it towards the side. And if you want to go for another twist, bring your opposite hand to the outside of your foot, gentle bend on the knee, little twist towards the right. Coming all the way to the middle, hugging your foot, your shin close to you, maybe grabbing a hold of it with your hand, nice and easy, and leaning a little bit towards the back as we fly our left leg towards the front, and place your foot outside your knee, easy twist towards the right, hooking your elbow on your knee, big and healthy to lengthen, and easy twist looking towards the back. your inhales and exhales roll through. Counter twist on the other side. And coming all the way to the middle. You want to put your foot 
foot on top of your thigh, onto the side, anything that's more comfortable. Bent or bent on the knees as you fold forward here. Relaxing your head or neck. And breathe in deeply. gently roll towards one side. Maybe open those arms and look to the opposite side. Nice and easy. Stay here for as long as you want. We are ready to switch sides slowly moving your
wiggling your fingers and toes. Gentle rotation for your ankles. Maybe you want to go over another stretch for the head, bring your arms above your head. Big inhale. And hugging your knees close to your chest. No rush here. Waving to either your left side or right side. Whichever side is more comfortable for you. Settling in, maybe a gentle sway side to side. And whenever you're ready, big and help put your arms up high. Bring your palms together and your thumbs right in front of your heartbeat. Settling here. Big and help through your nose. And long. For joining me. Hope you guys enjoy this. Hope it was a nice and easy stretch. Um, thank you. Oh my gosh. Hi guys. Thank you for joining me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sending you warm virtual hugs and let me know if you have any questions or any requests. I'll be back here Thursday at 5 30 Toronto time. Bye guys. <laughs> Big hugs to you all. <laughs>